Your Royal Highness, welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I must say I'm, I'm so glad you're all able to gather here in this uh, remarkable gallery, the Raphael Gallery, because apart from anything else, it gives me an opportunity just to check up that the V&A is looking after the Raphael cartoons, which actually belong to the Royal Collection, <laughs> but are on loan, just to make sure they've still got them in the right place and uh, are caring for them. But if I may say so, I, I, both my wife and I uh, had the most wonderful visit to India uh, and Sri Lanka in November. And uh, if I, again, if I may say so, there's nothing more enjoyable than spending your birthday in somewhere like India and Sri Lanka. Uh, because I had more birthday cakes than you would ever believe possible. <laughs> Everywhere I went, several in Kerala, several more in Sri Lanka. And um, everybody's so much nicer to you, I promise you, when you're away. I also, um, I remember, tried to visit uh, one of the jungle reserves in Kerala where my brother-in-law, Mark Shand, wanted to show me the work he's been doing on elephant corridors. Uh, but unfortunately, 2,000 Indian police had got there before I did. And so, as a result, all I saw were three jungle fowl and one tethered cow. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, if I, if I may say so, it's so special to see so many of you here this evening uh, in this magnificent museum, in uh, really, and, and, and what a remarkable year it's been since I lost, last saw some of you uh, at Windsor Castle last year. And from the outset, perhaps I could just thank my trustees and ambassadors uh, and all of my supporters present for making this evening possible. And since we were last together, at least quite a lot of us, uh, my Mehabuba and I, <laughs> it's such a good word, Mehabuba. <laughs> it sort of rolls off the tongue in a very happy and satisfactory way. <laughs> anyway, my Mehabuba and I have been able to visit India and Sri Lanka and to parts that uh, I've never been to before, but also this time to see some of the remarkable projects that my British Asian Trust has funded. Thanks, of course, ladies and gentlemen, to your generous support. We managed, for instance, to see uh, the Katha Lab School in Delhi and the Mumbai Mobile Creches, and it was wonderfully encouraging to hear from supporters, business leaders, beneficiaries, and charity leaders about the impact uh, that my British Asian Trust is having. And it was deeply moving and heartening to see that what was an idea only a short six years ago is truly making a difference to the lives of over one million disadvantaged people in the region. But in all of this, we have been helped immeasurably by the truly remarkable combined efforts of Manoj Badali and Hitan Mehta. So as I say, without their expertise, we would have got nowhere. And I can quite honestly say that the trust has really now come of age. And the relevance of supporting those in need in the region is still just as critical as the scale of the issues are immense. The key reason uh, that we have been able to make such rapid progress in such a short space of time is thanks to the support of so many of you, the British Asian diaspora. There is no doubt that you have made a tremendous difference to the diverse and strong fabric of the United Kingdom, whether it, uh, it is in the fields of business, television, radio, music, sports, or food. Tom Singh of New Look Fashion, Mr. Lakshmi Mittal, DJ Nihal in the field of music, Naughty Boy, who is performing later tonight, and I'm glad to say was started off by my Prince's Trust, uh, and my good friends Sanjeev Baskar and Mira Sial are all wonderful examples. Yet you have not stopped there. 
Indeed, you've built on your contributions to the United Kingdom to make a difference across South Asia by contributing to my trust. But ladies and gentlemen, I've always believed that it is not just the British Asian community who could be supporting this work. From what I know, uh, underscored by, my, by the tour we made to the region, it is critically important that we work in closer collaboration with in-country supporters to help us leverage the funding and assistance required to support those most in need. And I'm therefore most grateful to Mukesh Ambani, the Tata Group, uh, the Kanwas, Arif Nakvi, Chris Nonis, and the many others who are so committed to helping us grow this funding, not only to address, as we have for our first six years, challenges to health, education, and livelihoods, but to become even more ambitious and to promote also conservation, sustainable urbanism, and greater support for rural communities. Now, I'm afraid I'm someone who can't help believing that people of common purpose and good spirit can achieve so much more when they work together. And so I should therefore, like all of us, the British Asian community, British-based companies, philanthropists in India, in Pakistan, in Sri Lanka, and my other charities, such as the Prince's Trust, my Foundation for Building Community, and the International Sustainability Unit, to come together to establish a new Prince's Charitable Foundation for South Asia. And I, I see this foundation, once established, as an opportunity to build on our achievements, to find sustainable solutions to a wider set of challenges, scaling up the already excellent work going on at the local level, which I saw in India in, in November. Now, I know that this evening <clears throat> you will be able to see and meet a few of the beneficiaries of my trust work. With the next phase of our work, the basic principle remains unchanged, helping the most disadvantaged gain a hand up rather than a hand out by identifying, developing and funding some wonderful solutions such as the Qatar School, Lab School, the work of leaders like Vandava, Vandana Shiva in supporting rural communities, or efforts to strengthen education in rural areas, such as those conducted by partners like Developments in Literacy in Pakistan or Educate Girls in India. So, I hope that this will be the beginning of the next stage of the journey for the Trust, and that if you aren't too exhausted by now, you may be able to continue helping with support and assistance to those most in need so that we can leave the world in a better state for our children, and now that I'm a grandfather, our grandchildren. So whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen, I am enormously grateful to you all for your wonderful generosity and interest and can only pray that you will all have a thoroughly enjoyable and special evening. Thank you. Your Royal Highness, thank you very much um, for everything that you've done to harness our collective power as a community and not just to celebrate what's already been done, but really, I think, to raise our ambitions for what we can do together in the future and to take things to the next level. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales.